Hi guys, I'm Rupan and today I'm going to show you how to configure the ZTE dongle AC2791 with the TP-Link wireless 3G 4G router MR3040. To set up the dongle with the router, you will need three things. That is the dongle, the router and a smartphone, a tablet or a PC or Mac. Uh, so the setup is uh, going to be simple and I'm going to sh just going to show you how to do it. So firstly, uh, before purchasing your wireless router, uh, you need to ensure that whether your device is compatible or not. So if you move to the TP-Link website, you will see a list of compatible devices. So yeah, as you can see, this is for the MR3040. So the model numbers are listed here. Uh, one peculiar thing I found was that AC2791 is not listed here, uh, however it is compatible. So I'm just going to go show you guys how to configure it. Uh, so just before purchasing this modem make sure that uh, you read the compatibility list and if not you can ask uh, people who already bought it whether your dongle is compatible or not. I'm going to show you how to identify the model number of a device. So you can just flip open the back cover and as you can see the model number is listed uh, AC2791 uh, this is offered by Reliance in India known as Pro3 and I think it's also offered by Micromax as I've seen in a couple of forums uh, then you have the deep link router so what you do is uh, you switch on your router and it will power on <coughs> and you can wait for the Wi-Fi symbol light LED to activate so we'll wait for a couple of moments three settings for the dongle so it's 3G 4G mode WISP and access point mode so we are just going to focus on the 3G 4G mode because uh, that is uh, what we are aiming at so and the setting by default is on 3G 4G so we'll leave that as it is good so now you see the Wi-Fi symbol is on so then what you do is uh, you search for the scan for the Wi-Fi so I'll just go to my settings Wi-Fi and yeah so you'll see that the TP-Link MR3040 will be listed uh, on your device so you just connect to it how do you get the passcode is basically you open your modem from the back so I'm just going to flip it open Okay, and you can see as is here you'll have a device number. So here this is your passcode. So that's your password, and this is the Wi-Fi password. So for me it's this. For you it might be different. So yeah, there you go. You enter your password, which I'll do the same from here. Okay, great. So we have connected to the router. So after that you open your browser. Now this. Uh, for my case it's Safari, uh, it might be Internet Explorer or Chrome or Opera or whatever and then you type in the address 192.168.0.1 okay so you just click on go so it will ask for an authentication so the username and password out of the box should be admin admin so I logged in so now you see this is the utility uh, for the modem so as you can see there are a couple of network options here so what you want to do is you want to go to the network tab so you click on network and now since we are trying to configure 3G 4G so we will keep the settings to 3G 4G only you can change the settings if you want accordingly and not get in the details so now here I will go on the 3G 4G option so now here it's asked for a location and an ISP and uh, you can always select that so if you already have a modem that's already listed so for my case uh, go to India done now all your providers whatever are compatible they are listed here so you can see most of them are listed but what we want to do is since our modem is not listed here Pro3 uh, we do not want to use the default options so I go back to 3G 4G Okay, so now I will go to advanced settings and here what we'll do is we'll 
check mark this option set dial number ap and username and password manually so check mark this option and you see the solid fields will become editable okay it keeps refreshing so sometimes you might have to do it again so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this and specifically for reliance pro 3 what you need to do is you have to type hash 777 now the apn name you leave it blank so you delete whatever it is now this is the apn dial number was hash 777 now your username would be your mobile number uh, the number which reliance has provided you or micromax for that case uh, so I'll just type in my number and your passport will also be the same as your mobile number so now this mobile number is basically uh, the number provided by Reliance or your dongle provider to you so do not change anything else uh, you go down and press save so it will get saved so as you can see the options are already configured so now you can actually go to wireless and change the settings which you want like so you can change the name of the hotspot by default this is TP link MR3040 so probably you can enter any name you want so I'll just enter hotspot okay so good now I'll click on save so after doing that you can also change the security so basically you can change the Wi-Fi password so it's generally uh, WPA WPA2 so you can set the passcode to whatever you want and just click on save okay so what it says the changes won't take effect until you reboot the router and now that's fine I'll reboot the router so there's a power switcher so I'll switch it off and then I'll switch it on again so yes now as you can see that uh, basically after the modem is rebooted uh, you will be able to see the option of the hotspot so now you need to enter that passcode whatever you had set again uh, to be able to connect to it it will ask for a passcode so you enter the passcode you join you need to insert the stick now okay so once you insert the stick um, it will detect for connection first and then it will blink so how do you check whether it's connected or not you again open the router settings go back to the same address 192.168.0.1 tp link and then what you do is you go okay, to the network settings yeah and that you go for the 3g 4g option and below you will see that whether your network is connected or no so now we have it for now it's showing disconnected for me sometimes it takes time for it to connect for the first time and then after that it shouldn't be a problem so we'll wait all right so now you see now it's finally connected so then you can I mean access the internet I guess perfect try opening Facebook and see if it works perfect thanks guys thanks for watching if you like it do hit the like button and um, please feel free to comment if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer all right have a great day guys this is open thanks for watching